So this is part one of creating a tier list. In part zero, we set up the drag and drop library. Um, that's what you're looking at right here. We can drag it to different groups. These three rows are groups. Um, and then we can also like drag and drop between them. So instead of doing plain text like this, we're gonna be doing images in this video and separating them more so they look like groups. So if you don't, I'll have the code down below if you wanna grab that or you can watch the previous video to set this up. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just get the URL of some images that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this Olimar image. I'm just gonna right click and copy the image address. And then over my code in the app.tsx, I'm gonna create a new category, which I'm calling unranked. All right, and it's gonna be an array, and I'm gonna put that URL. I'm also gonna put another URL, this is going to be of elf. Copy this. And again, you can do pretty much two of whatever images you want or as many images as you like. I'm gonna go ahead and just use these two images here um, for testing purposes. All right, so uh, if we go back to our code, we're just gonna see this text being rendered. So now instead of text, I wanna see images show up. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the color part and we're gonna head on over to our author list. So the first thing that I wanna do is remove these two divs that we have that are just kinda of surrounding the code and not doing anything. The next thing that I wanna do is instead of just saying div and displaying the color, um, this is not really a color anymore, so I wanna rename that too. Um, and we don't, it looks like we don't need this draggable thing at the top that we were importing, so we'll get rid of that. So instead of calling this colors, let's call this uh, URLs. And so I'm just gonna hit F2 to be able to rename this and call it URLs. And so this, I'm gonna rename this color to a single URL, because that is what we're going to be storing uh, in this. And we actually may even change this again in a second, but this is fine for now, this is close enough. So instead of displaying a div, I'm gonna display an image where the source is the URL. So let's go ahead and save that, and now let's see what that looks like. Um, now we need to go back to our app and pass that in as URLs instead of colors. All right, so cool. And now I can drag and drop these two guys. Now we only have two groups, and this these are huge, so let's fix both of that. So, come back here. We don't need index open. I'll close that. And I'll make the width like 50. So they're more of like thumbnail size. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start adding more of a group. So I'm going to set background color to say like, uh, I guess black or maybe more like a pink. That'll be easier to see. And we may change that later, but That'll work for now. I'm also gonna set some margin. These are the individual rows. I'm gonna set a margin of say 20. And then I also want to just, uh, I think keep a min height. If there's no items in it, that way it does not collapse. And we'll say a min height of like 60 or something. So let's see what that looks like. So now we can see here kind of the rows of our tier list. Here are the unranked guys and we can now start moving them to whatever group we want to put on the same group and we can sort them so nice so this looks a lot closer to a tier list um, the next thing that I want to do at least in this video is be able to add new rows uh, to this so we're gonna add a button to the top here that is going to add those so I'm gonna say button add row and maybe we'll add this at the I guess at the top for now is fine. Um, and then I'm going to say on click. And what we're going to do is, I guess we're just gonna add a new row to this. All right, so the way we're doing rows is since this is an object, we really just start adding a new key. So you can say set colors. And so we're gonna pass in an object here and we're gonna take, uh, I guess we're gonna keep all the existing keys in here. So that's gonna be dot, 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 color map. And then after that, we are going to create a new one. 
um, which I guess we want to give a unique ID for each row. So in which case, let's go ahead and use short ID. This is my preferred library for just creating little IDs. So I need to add that short ID. And I'm using TypeScript, so I need to install the types for it as well. And so let's do that. And so now I'm going to use the ID as the key. And I'm going to use an empty list as the uh, value. All right. And we'll let that finish running. Awesome. Now let's go look at the code. So we'll add this guy here, we'll add a row, and now we can add him down here. And we can now add as many rows as we want. Cool. So that's all the functionality that I wanted to add in this video. I wanted to next kind of clean things up a bit and start to understand more how the reordering of colors works. Because uh, right now we have a really bad naming conventions, so I want to clean this up because we're using colors everywhere and we've kind of transitions to this being something else. And really the first thing I want to do is when adding rows, I'd like to be able to say where they go. Like maybe I want to add a row right here or maybe I want to add a row at the beginning. And I can't really do that when this is an object. So I want to convert this to an array. So what I'm thinking is a structure kind of like this. So we're going to have an array and then inside of the array, we're going to have an array of objects. And what this array of objects is, is it's going to have an ID, so for example like A, and it's going to have some URLs in it, which is going to be an array. So for example, this is going to be ID of unranked, and then that's going to be URLs. So now we've changed what this data structure is, so we're going to have to change our code for handling this. Um, the other thing that I want to add is a label. So this is what I'm going to display uh, visibly. So like for example, uh, I guess we, we killed our code, but I want to display like a label for each row, like whether it's unranked, whether it's like S tier and such. So uh, I'm going to distinguish that from the ID. It's going to be a different value. In this case, they're the same, but uh, when I'm generating a name with the short ID, that can be unique. And if we want to, we can just say generate here to give them a unique ID. That's actually fine. Though at each render, we're gonna generate a new one. So why don't we just create them up here, generate uh, a ID, unranked ID. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything to work with this new structure. So we can see what the types of this is. If we just hover over that. So instead of calling this set colors, um, let's say call it set rows. So I think I'm going to consider this to be a, a rows. And by the way, to make those two changes, I just hit F2, typed in the new name, hit enter, and then that'll change it everywhere. All right, so that that works uh, here. The URLs structure is gonna change a little bit. So we're no longer using this color map data structure as much anymore. Instead, we have what I'm calling a row. So I'm gonna say interface row. And what a row is, is it's gonna have an ID, which is a string, a label, which is a string, and then it's gonna have an array of URLs. All right, and so let's go to our author list first. So this is going to have rows instead of URLs. And actually it's not gonna be rows, it's gonna be a single row. All right, because we now have some metadata. So what we can do in the future is like display the label and whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna say rows.urls oops, row.urls here. Um, and then author list is just fine now. Now, the reorder colors has changed. So let's go deal with that. So let's come over here. 
I'm also going to re rename this and call this just reorder rows. And again, hitting F2 to be able to refactor that. So now this is going to be rows and this is going to be row um, and it's going to be an array of them. All right, so now we're going to have to like understand this logic. So what they're doing, it looks like, is they are getting the current color array, the droppable ID. So we're going to say rows and we need to find the current uh, array. And I think what I want to do to understand this best is to actually comment it out. And we're just going to return rows. And we're going to slowly pick it apart. I want to see if there's any other errors first. Let's go back to our app. So rows, key value. So we, we don't need to do this object that entries on the rows anymore because rows is already in array now. So here's going to just be a row and a row has an ID on it. So we can use that and we can pass the row in like such. All right. And this should be called row. All right. So that should be not complaining more. Perfect. All right. So what we would need to get to work now is with this row mechanism, being able to come up here and put a row or an item up here. So right now you'll notice nothing. It snaps back in place. Um, and that's because in our reorder, we're just returning the order of the row. So that's what we're gonna have to change. Uh, the other thing I want to do real quick is change what set rows does because now we're pushing onto the array because rows is now an array. So I'm going to say dot 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 rows and at the beginning I'm going to create a new row. So your URL is going to be empty. The ID is going to be generate and the label for now is just going to be empty. I think we're going to come in in the next video and make it so we can name this anything we want. And over in our reorder rows, that's really the next thing. And I think the best thing to do is leave this for the next video. So I think in the next video, what we will do is we will rework this logic to reorder our rows in the way where we have an array instead of an object on the utmost. So that's it for this video, guys. In the next one, we will take our tier list to the next level.